Hi everyone, I'm Alessandra Vega. I am content manager here at Consult Webs, and I'm joined by my esteemed colleague Cheyenne Ferguson. She is SEO training and development coach here at Consult Webs. Shai's job is to assist leadership in standardizing the SEO processes and roles here within Consult Webs. And um, we're here to talk about something that is quite powerful. It's uh, Google's latest and most powerful analytical tool, specifically GA4, what it is, and just the basic rundown, the benefits and how law firms can implement this in their uh, marketing strategies and just their overall management um, strategy. Um, so welcome, Shai. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So um, let's dive in. Shai, as an SEO training and development coach here at Consult Webs, can you briefly walk us through what GA4 is? So GA4 is a new version of Google Analytics Essentially, it's it's really a whole new build to Google Analytics, and it collects data a lot differently. It's an event-driven data model. So basically, anytime a user interacts with someone's website, it tracks that behavior. And the beauty behind this data is that it gives you a full picture of what users are actually doing when they get to your site, rather than just simply knowing that you have users coming to your site. And it's very customizable, um, which allows for marketers and law firms to really understand their target audience. So you mentioned GA4 is based on events, but also would you say that uh, GA4 also offers more privacy for their users? Um, I recently read a quote that said GA4 was developed to better focus on customer privacy due to the recent implementation of privacy laws, such as the GDPR, which is the General Data Protection Regulation, and the California Consumer Privacy Act, the CCPA. Now that we've dived into what the basics um, are behind GA4, um, let's dive into um, the privacy and data protection. So how does GA4 handle um, privacy and data protection, um, specifically considering the sensitive nature of information that um, law firms have to handle on an everyday today. Yeah, so one good thing about analytics tools is that they can't really collect any information that a user might share on the website. So like if there are if there's a chat widget, Google Analytics doesn't read that chat and it also doesn't read any form submission and in information. It just knows right. that someone has interacted with a form. Um, mm -hmm. And they do this, they, they're able to collect all that event data by those interactions on the website. Whereas before it was more revolved around the uh, IP addresses. They would collect okay. IP addresses and now they don't have to do that. Essentially, they just use the website information rather than the user information, if that makes sense. How does GA4 specifically benefit law firms or at least law firms that are working with a digital agency like Consult Webs? Um, does it help them become more data driven? Does it help them look into different kinds of um, interactions that maybe they might have missed if they weren't checking on GA4 or like specifically any other data analytics um, tracking tool? Yeah, going back to the user behavior side of things, um, you can see events like people downloading documents from your website. You can see where they're clicking on specific areas, uh, specific buttons. You can even see how far people scroll on certain pages. And then the cool thing about GA4 is that it will also automatically create insights based on things that are happening on your website and trending on your website. It also um, allows law firms to see beyond just simple website traffic numbers. And the cool thing too, going back to kind of data privacy, the marketers or law firms or, you know, working together can actually disable the collection of 
certain people that come to their website. So for example, if a law firm is working out of New York and they see they get a lot of traffic from somewhere over in Europe, which is is cool that they're reaching out there, but they don't necessarily need that data collection of of right. information. They're not really going to use it. Uh, they could disable collecting information from that country, that specific country. So that's really cool that you know you don't have to have those type of numbers kind of fogging up your data. Um, right. And the way that the platform is set up, you're able to just see that very easily without having to dig super far into reports or creating custom reports. Um, it's really easy to find where your users are coming from, too. So basically um, what you're saying is that some of the main benefits for law firms uh, leveraging GA4 is having more of like a granular granular understanding of the user behavior but also having um, the privacy centric design, which is also around GA4, but in addition, also simplifying the data visualization of the metrics and just having um, a filter, as you said. We've talked about some of the features, for example, um, the elements feature of GA4 and just uh, different metrics. For example, you mentioned a new kind of metric, which is um, the scrolling, the level of scrolling. Um, are there on any other features that um, you feel law firms should be aware of um, when leveraging GA4 or at least to ask their marketing agency if they work with a marketing agency such as ConsultWebs? Do you have any other benefits that they should look into or perhaps even any setbacks um, that they may experience or could even ask their um, agency? Yeah, so the, that's really like two questions. I'm going to approach the first piece of it with some additional features that we we haven't really talked about are is the ability to create custom events so you are able to track things that google doesn't automatically track which could be uh clicking on phone numbers it could be interacting with a specific section of your website maybe you have a very nicely designed infographic and you want to specifically see people people's interactions there um you can like i mentioned before the a lot of law firms have like chat on their website you can set up events to track how many chats are actually happening a lot of times law firms just receive a a, a statement from their chat company with how many leads they have but don't get the full picture of how many interactions there actually were with that chat. So yeah. um, that's really cool. And then lastly, another feature I have really come to love is the ability of seeing what keywords people are actually searching within your website. So a lot of law firms, yeah, they have these search boxes on their website so that when people are on a page, maybe they don't have the full picture or they didn't get the answer they were looking for. So they can continue researching within that specific law firm's website instead of leaving. And you can see what people are typing in that search box, which is really cool. It does take a little bit of extra configuration, which I guess could take us into those setbacks of GA4 because GA4 is not built exclusively exclusively excuse me for law firms and so the default metrics and reports may not be directly relevant and then if you're trying to do all this data reporting yourself without the help of a marketing agency like us at consult webs it can demand a lot of time and expertise and even other resources that the average law firm owner doesn't have a lot of law firm owners, especially new ones, are out there trying to do everything themselves, and it takes time. <laughs> and that's really what uh, marketing agencies like Consult Webs are here for: is to support those businesses that are trying to get their feet under them and try to grow. So, uh, GA4 is beautiful. beautiful. It has so much great information, but you know, if you're 
if you're really walking around uh, GA4 trying to find information and you've never heard any of these terms before and you've never seen a platform like GA4 before, it can be really difficult to navigate. I think it's such a powerful platform, but again, without the help of a digital marketing agency, you can be lost in just the random little details, like not understanding exactly what a metric means or the attribution part of marketing, like where you can place different attributions because marketing isn't necessarily a one-to-one -one attribution as we know it now. It's a whole bunch of different pieces together, um, which is why we see marketing as an ecosystem rather than just like a hierarchy that's like, it starts here and, and then ends here but more like all the pieces working together in an ecosystem. Um, and obviously platforms like GA4 help us visualize it better, but there are also other visual data visualization tools in the market. For example, um, at ConsultWebs, we offer Law Eva, which is 100% designed for law firms. And it's definitely uh, friendly and just a beautiful, easy alternative for law firms that are looking for um, uh, data visualization tools or just becoming a little bit more data driven um, in terms of business and marketing management. Why do you think data reporting and visualization is so important for the success of different campaigns, um, whether they're like paid campaigns or SEO efforts or a mixture of both? Um, so why do you think data visualization is so important nowadays, um, specifically for law firms or just businesses overall? Yeah, so with any sort of data visualization tool, it's meant to create an easy way for any user to see patterns, understand trends, and you can break that out um, into specific silos of, of different marketing efforts that you may have, or you can look at it as a whole. And that's what's really cool about it is that you have a lot of great information that is kind of an overview of what you need to know. And then you get to drill down as, as you see fit, really. Um, whatever information that you want, you can set up in these data visualization tools like Law Eval. Um, right. And I personally worked a lot in Law Eval and worked mm -hmm. alongside clients for navigating it. And we're constantly updating it as well and, and adding more features and making it even easier to navigate. And right. I really love that, that we didn't just send out a product and you know hope it does well. We're constantly getting feedback from people mm -hmm. and improving it um, to precisely what a law firm would need to understand their marketing campaigns even better. Something that Law Eval, a feature that is built in to the monitoring platform, there's, there's a couple different levels of Law Eval that you can subscribe to. And so the first one is the performance monitoring tool. <sighs> Several years ago, the only thing that anyone wanted to talk about was site speed. And <laughs> they wanted to know how fast their site was and they wanted to make sure it was faster than the competitors. And we actually have an, a constant monitoring tool within Long Eval that will tell you at any time of the day how fast your website is on desktop and mobile. So that's really cool that they don't have to go run tests themselves or figure out, you know, someone else to do it for them. They just know they can go to Law Eval and see that. Uh, and then we also have the leads tracking tool, which breaks down where all of your leads are coming from. So some law firms that are just starting out don't really have a sophisticated intake system. They don't truly know how many calls they're getting every day or how many emails they're getting every day. And even deeper than that, they don't know when people are contacting them through social media, but the leads tracking tool allows law firms to see that information in detail and actually communicate with their marketing team. So us at Consult Webs, they can go in and mark things, whether or not they were a case, 
maybe their pending investigation or maybe it wasn't really a, a relevant lead at all. So not only do they see that data, but they're also able to kind of analyze it and communicate with their marketing teams about the effectiveness of the campaigns, being able to see all of those lead leads that come in. Lastly, the data analytics tool uh, is where we get into that visualization where you see um, performance data from Google Analytics, from Google Search Console, from social media platforms. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of different things built into the dashboard to give you that full picture understanding of certain trends and Oftentimes we see a lot of seasonality uh, ups and lows with law firms. So there are just mm-hmm. certain times of the year where less car accidents happen. And so law firms will kind of lose some traction on how many leads that they're getting. And maybe they they communicate that to their marketing team and kind of expect that marketing team to have an answer for them. But in reality, you can just go to your data analytics platform and see the trend of over a course of a month, over a course of a year, any specific right. time frame that you want really, and mm-hmm. see how that trend has changed and compare it year over year. That's one of the easiest ways to really like prepare your law firm for those highs and lows is look at historical data, which Law Eval offers, which is really cool. Yeah, I have to say that uh, working with an agency is also a big plus when you have, or at least when you're investing in a data um, analytics tool, because like you said, besides looking at historical data, you can mix and match the historical data with, I guess, for example, if your marketing agency provides a monthly reporting meeting, such as something that we do here at Consult Webs, and then um, decide what could work best for future strategies, whether that's like an investment in another um, digital asset or um, reallocating uh, money and budget to um, a digital asset that is working best and uh, decreasing a budget somewhere else is just endless amounts of decisions. And obviously it is so different from law firm to law firm and practice area to practice area. It's so unique. This uh, data visualization tool is the one that law firms definitely need, um, especially as they navigate and invest in different digital assets. Law Evo, um, uh, now there are hundreds of um, clients that are leveraging this data visualization platform. Do you have any re- recommendations for them on you know, uh, how to use it or just simply get started or any tips um, that you have for law firms getting started with uh, Law Evo as your data visualization tool? Um, so starting out, of course, we have to get everything connected that you want information from. So there is like a setup process that typically our IT team handles. So that's just one thing to know um, that you know, it's not just like a set it and forget it thing. You can actually integrate Agreed. more different tools from the outside to pull in uh, data information over time as you as you gather more and more. We also have the ability to integrate a lot of CRMs with Law Eval, mm-hmm. which yeah. will send the lead data that we get into your CRM system and connect those two so that maybe you go, maybe the owner or the marketing team from the law firm goes into the law eval dashboard, but the intake team can stay in their CRM tool. Um, So it offers a lot of flexibility in that way. Uh, And then just a little side note, if you are part of the Consult Webs community or, or you have an ongoing agreement with Consult Webs, um, the analytics module is free. So if you haven't been talking to it, talking to your marketing manager about that, definitely get started on that get your your login information. It was likely automatically sent out to you a long time ago, 
But if you haven't touched it, you still have the ability to go in and, and check it out. So definitely um, take advantage of that if, if you are an existing Consult Web's client. Awesome. So as we wrap it, wrap this conversation up, are there any questions you wish I would have asked um, or any less comments? I can say that we've gotten a lot of great feedback so far from from law firms. So I, I just want to kind of give it a little shout out one last time. Um, you know, a lot of law firms have not only just spoken to their marketing managers about this, but actually sent feedback to our IT team and the president of our company and everything. Um, things just like, you know, this is exactly what I was looking for, or, you know, this makes my life so much easier, things like that. Um, we have even more testimonials. If you personally want to read those before committing to the product, um, I'll, continue on by saying it's truly impossible to run an effective marketing campaign based solely on guesswork. So choosing some sort of data analysis tool really matters for your campaign's overall success. And I hope powerful platforms like GA4 and Law Eval will propel your firm forward. It's really something that gets overlooked a lot especially by folks who aren't, you know, native marketers. They're not, that uh, isn't their bread and butter. So they kind of overlook a lot of data and partnering with a marketing agency allows you to truly harness that data and have conversations about it, improve your law firm, improve your, your marketing, improve your targeting and essentially save money <laughs> like yeah. so you're not just throwing ad dollars at different segments and different targets unsure of if they're working or not you know so right. i really I, I really have a a passion for that data and um communicating it with others sharing it with others having those discussions about it and i know a lot of others at consult webs feel the same way thank you shy this was so insightful we have learned a lot and um, i'm sure law firms out there looking to become more data driven or just tap into anything related to data even just like researching a little bit more not necessarily um like completely diving in or purchasing a product immediately we hope this is a great start for you and we hope this serves you as a guidance throughout your marketing strategy and just your overall marketing journey um, and if you'd like to learn more hit the subscribe button below and you'll get the latest in marketing strategies man management analytics um ga4 and just anything um, related to legal marketing thank you thank you